Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, welcome to fall. Well, fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. It's when the leaves fall, seasons change, and racket prices fall too. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so coffee sponsor of today is someone. <laughs> Jesus, I get a lot of someones hooking me up with coffee today. Um, actually, I get a lot of someones hooking me up with coffees in general. So thank you to all those someones who are always hooking me up. I appreciate you trying to be anonymous and I appreciate you for hooking up me up with the Java of the day. I went to Noah's today because the lines are just too long everywhere else. So, but not too bad. Not too bad. I'll, I'll, I'll take it because I need the uh, caffeine fix. If you want to be that someone that hooks me up with coffee, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to contribute to the making of content on this channel, there's a little button down there that says super thanks. Just hit that button and you can contribute as much or as little as you like to help us keep creating. All right. Super thanks to all of you out there. All right. So guys, it's a little colder outside now. It's like, 20 degrees colder out here at least. And I definitely feel it. I got a little thicker jacket on now and they call the season fall, right? In tennis lingo though, fall means falling prices for some of the discontinued models that will be discontinued. So if you look and you see your favorite racket or something you wanna buy, and you see it slashed, $20, $30, right? What does that usually tell you? They're trying to get rid of it for one thing. And there is probably a new model on the horizon. So I know that, you know, usually the Grand Slams is when new introductions come. Since the U.S. Open just ended, what's next, guys? Australian. So they're going to try to get rid of the old models of the rackets that they don't want anymore to bring in the new versions for the Australian Open. And that's coming up in January. So I've seen a couple already and I've pre-booked a couple already. So I do know that some of these are definitely going to be changed. Actually, all of them that have the price changes already. So, um, guys, I'll start by telling you. There's a discount going on right now with these. Pure Strikes. They are currently slashed about $20 or $30 at the $199 level. I haven't been notified, though, that this is going to get a makeover yet. But because I see the price change... Um, I know what's going to happen. So in all models of the, the strike, uh, right, they, they are discounted right now. So if you've had your eye on one of these for a while or need a second one, um, it's time to get them before they run out of grip sizes. Okay? Strike. There is a price slash on these. Prices have fallen on the gravity line. So those of you who've been bugging about getting one of these, ha haven't pulled the trigger yet, um, it's time. These have been cut down to one, I think 199 also. Uh, double check on that, but it's, uh, yeah, definitely price change, definitely new one on the horizon. Okay, I know for a fact this one's going to get changed. I'll bet Aesthetic is coming into this racket and will probably make it feel 
a lot better. Radical, 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 radical change. It's time for a radical change, guys. Yes, this will definitely be getting a facelift too. And it will be early part of next year. They may not be January. I'm not sure. I forget which one's coming out first. But one of these is January. One of these is probably going to be March. So um, you got your marching orders. If you want one of these, get them now before they run out. Um, I know for a fact that some of the grip sizes of this um, are non-existent anymore at uh, the warehouse. So uh, don't wait if uh, you want that old radical. Uh, aesthetic will be added to this too. And I feel that aesthetic will make anything and every racket that head makes feel better. Okay, that just seems to be the trend. I see price slashing on these pro staffs. There's been rumors that pro staffs will be getting a makeover. Now that Fed officially retired, my guess is that um, they might be making a retirement edition, which is going to be version 14. I mean, I don't know, but that's just my guess. I mean, I've been telling people that, oh yeah, re retirement edition coming out, version 14. It's the Fed goodbye version. <laughs> My guess is they're probably going to milk him for as long as they can. I mean, they'll probably go up to version 20. He's going to be like the Michael Jordan of uh, Wilson and keep his face on there as long as he's relevant, which will probably be a, a long time. So, uh, I mean, come on, who doesn't want Fed as a spokesperson? retired or not right you got the memories you got that generation right you're gonna sell rackets so i saw price slashing on his racket or his signature racket and some of the other models have been cut down a bit a bit so i mean any discounts a good discount i guess for some of these rackets because they usually never go on discount CX200 line from Dunlop, I feel like it's kind of due, if not overdue. There are discounts going on on the whole line of the 200s. And I think Kevin Anderson has officially retired, so he will not be the face of this racket. So, but I can see that there will be, there will, there probably will be a new version of this, the CX200 line coming out my guess is january maybe february depending on how long it takes for them to to get it done but but definitely um this racket is uh, due due for a makeover now the stuff that i really can't confirm and i don't know if they are gonna you know change it or make it over but i know that it's time for a makeover on these because it's on like a schedule. So I know a lot of you have been bugging me about the V core line um, and when it may come out. So my guess again will be January. Uh, they haven't discounted these rackets yet and they probably won't until the very, very last second. Uh, Yonex is very, very particular about what they like to do in terms of new editions coming out and what they like to do with the old editions they literally wait until weeks in a you know weeks before the new one comes out before doing anything to the old versions that's kind of like their recent trend because um, they are trying to hold out as long as they can before the new one comes out and make sure that you know they kind of get rid of the old ones first uh, and try not to you know, mess with the retailer's pricing too much, okay? So, but my feeling is that this will get a makeover at some point next year, okay? So, as you see falling prices, you probably see new versions coming out, all right? That's usually the tennis racket trend. And if you use any of these rackets and you want second or third or fourths, 
it's time to buy them now because the longer you wait, if you use that four and a quarter and four and three eighths, maybe an eighth, they, the longer you wait, the more people snap them up and buy them and the harder it will be to find one. Don't be that guy three months down the road saying, dang, I should have got that. Yeah. Cause none of, nobody's going to have it by then. Um, and then you'll have to be scouring through some of the secondary markets to find what you want. Okay. Guys, welcome to fall. See the falling prices and check out the new rackets in January. All right, guys. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin where we put our spin on your tennis. So what is this thing? I don't know, it says satisfying pop though. It's kind of interesting. Harry, are you ready? I'll be right there. We, we really wanted to go hit before we had to Ian, leave town. Ian, Ian, I don't mean oh, to be yeah, a little hey, Give me a second, give me a second. We gotta get well, a little Harry said, uh, like, I, I, really, I actually wanted to go hit. Harry! I'm coming. Can you hurry it up? I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but we, we have an Uber coming. Okay, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. I'll be right there. We're gonna miss our flight. It's yeah. not worth it for. Harry, come on. Kind of last chance, man. We gotta go. All right, all right. Almost there. Almost yeah. there. Harry, it's been great working with you. We gotta take off. Good luck, man. Oh, Thanks, oh, Harry. oh, oh. Good luck. Guys, guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Guys, I'm ready. Guys, guys, I'm stuck. Ian, Joel, anybody? Guys, I'm stuck. Leonard, are you here?